Okay guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a little bit of a modem comparison. So right here you guys see we have the Netgear CM1000. This is a DOCSIS 3.1 modem in order to enable gigabit internet through the coaxial cable. Now we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the Netgear CM1000 and the Aris Touchstone CM8200 as you see there. So uh, the CM8200 is the modem that my internet service provider provided to me. This was one that I purchased on my own. The reason why I decided to go with a Netgear modem, Netgear router, is because I already have a Netgear router right here. The C, it's the R7000, and now I have the CM1000 here. So this is the modem, this is the router. Now, the biggest thing that I did with this comparison and I will show you a little bit here, is that I had some pretty, pretty amazing speed test runs. And uh, like most people say, it doesn't really matter about the modem. It doesn't really matter what you have. It all matters on your connection with the internet service provider. And that could not be more wrong. That is completely wrong. So actually, I did a few tests running straight modem. Um, modem to my big Alienware right here. So this Alienware that I have is the newest up to date. It's an Aurora R5 Alienware with a, giga, a gigabit Ethernet killer um, Ethernet port in there. So this computer definitely has everything that it needs to pull full gig service off of my internet service provider. So my internet service provider um, says they have speeds up to one gigabit per second down. They also say they have speeds up to 20 megabits per second up. Now, realistically, you'll see about 940 down and about 20 up, and, and that's really realistic. So over here, I did kind of a number comparison and uh, kind of went through these, and I'll show you the speed test for them here um, in a little bit. But the major thing that I noticed is the modem to modem hookup to the computer weren't really that different. Uh, the Netgear modem did outperform the Aris Motorola modem. So with the Netgear modem, I actually pulled 16.92 megabits per second down greater than what the Aris Motorola modem was. And then for the upload, it was a 0.17 megabits per second up. So modem to modem, there wasn't really that much of a difference. I guess the biggest difference really comes is when you look at the router to router comparison. So when I'm talking router to router, I'm talking the CM8200 hooked up to the R7000, the CM1000 Netgear modem hooked up to the same R7000 router. So the router comparison was the biggest difference that I noticed. So the CM8200 actually pulled um, on the router 692.18 megabits per second down with 20.95 megabits per second up. Now the Netgear router actually outperformed this by 814.58 megabits per second down and 20.66 megabits per second up. So those numbers as a comparison it's 122.4 megabits per second down faster with the new Netgear modem than the Aris Motorola modem which is a substantially huge when you're talking about an internet connection. Now the upload speed, the actual CM8200 from the internet service provider did pull a little bit better of a download or an upload speed. It ran 20.95 megabits per second versus 20.66 megabits per second on the Netgear, which was a difference of 0 0.29 megabits per second for the upload speed difference. And that was lacking on the Netgear side. So I mean, when it comes to modem to modem difference, if you're modem to modem hookup, it really doesn't make that much of a deal. 16 megabits per second isn't enough to bitch or complain about. Now 122 megabits per second on the router's end is uh, quite substantial. So what I will show you here, next will be the comparison uh, speed test between these two modems. And I know that's what everybody wants to see anyway. So I'm going to leave off here. This was the comparison review between the CM8200 Aris Motorola modem and the CM1000 Netgear modem. So I hope you all enjoyed. These are both DOCSIS 3.1 modems. 
you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, be sure to put that down in the comment section below, guys. Uh, but as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.